All right, so we're ready for our last step of this. Our last step of this is to create the post process. Um, what the post process does is it creates the code um, that the CNC router table will read. Um, so to do this, um, it's a pretty simple step. We have to jump through a few, a few things. First off, um, we need to make sure we're posting everything that we want to. So for example, if I selected just right here on this bore and I go up to post, um, it will just post just this bore. If I'm selected just here, it'll post just the pocket. If I'm selected just here, it'll post just the contour. I don't want just those individual things. Sometimes it's nice to do things one step at a time, and we do that quite often. But I want this whole thing to post because I'm using the same cutter for everything. So, I, <clears throat> so I'm going to go to the top, select the setup, make sure it's blue there so it's selected, and then come over to our actions. Under actions, go down to post process, and we come to here. Um, the first thing we need to do is select our right router table. You guys, yours is going to be blank up here. Uh, but we need to go and search for our correct router table. So we're going to go, go choose from library. So again, I just click up here on the folder. Uh, choose from the library. Ours is called the tech now. Mine is just sitting right there, but typically it would not be. You'd have to scroll through this list. So if I go over here to the search and type T-E-C-H tech and oh, hey, there's the techno. There's two, actually two technos listed. Um, this one, the techno.tap extension, our router table doesn't know that language. We need to put the, pick the techno with the NC extension on it. So techno CNC router with the NC um, extension here. We're going to go ahead and go select. Once we go select, there's a couple changes we need to make here. One is our machine type is not an HD series. Our machine type is an HDS series. Okay. And then another one is, yours probably has this on there checked. It's kind of the default. Um, use tool changer. We do not have a tool changer, so uncheck it. The only thing you have, separate words with space, is the only thing you have selected there. So that should have that taken care of. Next, each one of you, when you come in here, we're going to give you a super secret code. It's going to be two digits. It's going to be 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, all the way up to 15 per session. Um, so we're going to give you that code. Um, that's going to be what you're going to start with with your number or with your save that you're going to do. The save it has to be a four-digit number. That's all it can be. So you can only do 9,999 of these. Actually, I guess 10,000 because you have 000 you can do. Um, so each one of you will get your special code that you'll use for every post you're going to do. If you do everything correctly, you're going to have one post. If you make some mistakes, you might have two or three posts. So that's fine. Most of you are probably, let's hope most of you, are not going to have any mistakes. So you'll just have one post. My super secret code starts with an 8-9. That's just what I always use. So 8-9 is my first one. Um, that is the year I graduated high school to. Shut up. I'm not old. Um, so 8-9-0-0 is going to be my first post I do here. So I'm going to click on post. Then next, what I'm going to do, that post is successful. It's doing it right now. We're going to wait just a second here. It should come up. I'm actually going to pause the video while I'm waiting. Okay. So they did change this up on me just a bit. Uh, we, I just got a new version today. Um, so we're going to go back to this. We're going to try it again. We're going to go 8900. Um, that is my super secret number that I told you about. Um, zero, zero, because it is my first um, one I've done. So um, here, output folder. Usually it just takes you and opens up the program and we then chose and saved it to our output folder. We need to pick it first now. So here, I'm going to go ahead and click on my output folder. Our output folder is actually going to be, US, be a USB drive. Um, that's the only thing the router table accepts. So we're going to go to USB. Um, it's my output folder. I'm going to select the folder. And so it's there. Go into my D. And I'm going to go post. My flash drive is lighting up over there on the side. And it did successfully post my flash drive. Now, uh, I'm going to take that flash drive into the router table. And we will run the code in there. Always, always, always we want to make sure we do an air cut as our first cut. Um, just to make sure the router table is going to the right speed. That the right router table has the right feed and etc. Make sure we didn't have any issues with our code. Um, so we have to make sure that runs correctly that way first. So, good luck and have a good day.